We all get a brief window of opportunity on this planet. And while you're catching up on sleep this morning, consider this. There's a snail out there, right now, risking everything to cross the largest desert of a sidewalk it's ever seen. Why? Because it beats hiding in its shell at home? Or maybe it was inspired by every snail that ever successfully reached the other side. I don't know. I'm not really sure what motivates a mollusk. But I do know this. No snail has any idea what's on the other side of that sidewalk. All he knows is that they have a shell that can be cracked. And maybe not the best reaction time in the animal kingdom. But still they go. On the off chance they might actually connect with something greater than themselves. Maybe become one of those snails that inspires another snail. Now you may say this is dumb. Snails don't surf. Well, neither did any of us. Until we did. What's up, everybody? Go Burns, welcoming you to Q&A 18.0. A monthly series I try to do, giving you the opportunity to submit questions revolved around almost anything. Uh, games that I play or have played or will play, like Grand Theft Auto Online, Mafia 3, etc. Gaming in general, personal questions, advice, etc. If you submitted a question during the time allotted a few days ago for Q&A 18.0, I will include it in this video. And I am really, really impressed by the feedback I got from you guys 13 questions. Well, 13 and change, because some of you asked more than one question. And for some of those, I will let it slide. Others, I answered privately via Facebook message and email. But for now on, just want to let you guys know that, you know, whenever we do a future Q&A video, if you can try and limit it to one question per person, that would be great. Because of, you know, how much response we're getting, I want to try and get as many of you in to future Q&A installments as possible. So if you could do me a solid and limit your question to one per episode, that would be awesome. All right, so anyways, let's get into this, shall we? Q&A 18.0. We're going to go alphabetically. First off, off of uh, YouTube with Aziz. He asked two questions, which we just mentioned. All right, I'm going to answer one of your questions because somebody else also asked how old I was. We'll address that in a little bit, Aziz. What is my PlayStation name? Okay, so a while back, I used to actually include my PlayStation account and my Xbox Live account in the description section. I stopped doing that. However, if you wish to add me via PlayStation or Xbox, you still can if you want. It's pretty easy. Go Burns on both. All lowercase. Hope that answers your question. Go Burns, all lowercase, Xbox Live, or PlayStation. That's my name. All right, next question comes from CJ Ware, and he asked this question back, well, it was late for Q&A 17.0. He just missed the deadline, and I told him I would include it in Q&A 18.0, even though I almost forgot, admittedly, until CJ reminded me. And he has several questions, which I will let slide this time, but in the future, guys, like I said, please limit it to one question per person. And it's all about Lincoln Clay. Okay, so he asked about how him being shot in the head will affect him. Like many people think that he might be partially crazy from being shot in the head. And of course, uh, remarking on his scars on how extreme he is on now going to war against Marcano's mob. And of course, how diverse do I think the arsenal will be? And do I see Lincoln Clay staying in New Bordeaux after the events of the game to help control, run, and manage his newly formed organization? Thanks for the question, CJ. All right, first off, regarding the mental state of Lincoln Clay, I think that he's going to be a little crazy because, for one thing, he was obviously shot in the head, left for dead, probably was in a coma, and, of course, he uh, witnessed most of his family massacred, i.e. Sammy Robinson, Ellis, and the rest of the black mob. But another you know, example of him probably having issues is his time in the Vietnam War, and as a lot of people know, most of the Vietnam War vets suffered from PTSD. And the truth is, that's nothing new when it comes to war. It's just a more recent discovery. And it used to be called battle fatigue or cowardice. And unfortunately, a lot of soldiers were shot 
because of their mental issues. They had really no sympathy for soldiers in the battlefields of, say, World War I, for example. A little bit more in World War II, but yeah, they didn't really quite understand why soldiers were suffering from battle fatigue or being shell-shocked or you know, quote-unquote cowardice, and now it's an actual mental issue called PTSD. So it wouldn't surprise me if Lincoln Clay does have issues. And another example I'm going to cite, and it's just a theory of mine from watching the E3 trailer, is that he sees Sammy Robinson in several images one time when he's looking.